I don't know how to tell everyone. I'm not sure. Guys, you said. Today is going to be a pretty hectic and stressful day, but first up, obviously, you've got to squeeze a bike ride in, and I'm here with my ever reliable amigo. Izzy Bikes. Reporting for duty. <laughs> so today we're actually heading to the Haribo factory. This is a ride I've wanted to do for so long because they have Haribos, but at a discounted price. And you know I love a bargain, so that's where we're going now. Whoop. So Izzy's actually been to the Haribo factory before. How did you get on? It was like heaven, honestly. <laughs> I did it after a really big week and my mission was to fit as much Haribo as I could into my bar bag. And I was pretty chuffed. I got 740 grams of what? into my bar bag. We might have to try to beat that record today. We will beat that record today. <laughs> Genuinely, the, the choices are so hard. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go for the promotion. But look at all these. But you can't get these in the UK, you know. I was actually doing some research, and there are some flavors that you can get in the UK that you can't get here. Uh -huh. Like each country has their own. Back home, we have twin snakes, which are like snakes. Half of them are sweet and half are sour. <gasps> so good, but you can't get them here. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you fit all that in your baggie? So last time I brought home 11 bags. Okay. Sweet. We're going to beat the record today. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. We have got a good stash, so let's count up how many grams of this we've got. I have a kilo. And then one, two. The trick is roll the bag of caribou. Oh, okay, there's a technique here. And then you engulf them together. Oh. <laughs> and what are you going to do with this massive one? Oh, are you ready for this? I, I don't know if I am. Below two bins, you can feed them. Ooh. You can also. Oh, yes. I like your style, Izzy. Um, Izzy's about, I'd say, what, what do you reckon? Three months pregnant there yeah, with some watermelons. About, yeah, some nice sour watermelons. Yeah. I have got 800 grams of Haribo's in this Django Rolls bar bag. I mean, if that's not an advertisement, I don't know what is. And I also have the other four packs in my, in my back pockets, along with camera equipment. I think I've done a pretty good job. So let's head back to Girona and I'll explain a little bit more why today is slightly hectic. Let's go. Haribo, if you're watching this vlog, Please sponsor us. Please, please. <laughs> Look at the lengths we go through. <laughs> it's actually really cheap. Yeah. I spent 12 euros for uh, 1.8 kilos of hair bone. And usually I buy them at Spar for at like a euro a bag of 100. So it would have been 18 euros had I bought it at full price. That's a saving. It's a big saving. <laughs> and not to mention that I have a whole kilo of watermelon slices. One kilo. I mean, that in itself is worth it really, isn't it? I mean, it's probably only just gonna last me like a week. But. <laughs> Just a slight detour, um, I saw this ramp and I thought, let's make Izzy ride it. Woo! We've actually got to get back now though. It feels so much steeper when you ride up it like that. <laughs> and, like you look at it from the side and it's like, oh, that's nothing. And then you get up and it's like, oh, definitely. It looks like a pancake on this camera. I'm fully sweating. You Are you ready yeah. for me to send it? Woo! 
Right, mate, we've really got to get back. We've got to go. We've got to go. I'm sweating. My baby is leaking. <laughs> We are back in Girona. We're gonna have the quickest coffee stop known to man. Oh. Okay. <laughs> They've made it home. We're back in Girona. I have another baby to carry home. I'm gonna oh, have- wait, Where are you gonna put that one? On my back. Oh wow, you're gonna have lumps in all sorts of places. Oh yeah, but maybe I'll look more of it even if I'm like just around and gently. You're just going for the full beach ball. Oh yeah. <laughs> so the coffee is complete. I don't know how to tell everyone. Sad. Today is actually quite sad. It is sad because this is my last bike ride in Girona. Um, we found out yesterday that we're having to leave early. So yeah, I'll tell you more once I get back up the hill <laughs> to, to the house. But, but yeah, this is going to be probably not the last coffee, but definitely the last bike ride. So thank you, Izzy. I'm honored to be part of your last bike ride here. <laughs> and I'm glad I had a hair bone call. Honestly, I've been I've been wanting I've been wanting to do the Harry Bow ride actually since since I since I got here. So I'm glad we ticked that off. So I'm gonna get my ass up the hill. I'm gonna help Jake start packing and I'll, I'll talk you through a bit more about why we're suddenly suddenly packing up and heading home. Yeah, it's it's emotional. It actually is emotional. Sure. Guys, you sad. <laughs> Back up this hill. Last time I'm gonna have to climb this 2k. What are we doing now, Kira? We are going to get nose violated by the PCR test. Have you ever had one before? Mm. Oh, they're hot. Like, if you haven't had one, it's... Everyone has had one now, Kira. Everyone, yeah. I, I mean, originally, it was like this kind of... Woo! Going to get a PCR test. I don't all, think everyone has you had would one. Oh, you'll never guess how deep they go, and then it's like, everyone's had one. It sucks. Just like, literally, all the way in to the wrist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, we're going to get PCR tests. So that we can go home. Woo! Can't wait to go back to minus seven degrees. So we've got our trailer ready to go. Bikes and stuff are in the car. It's kind of emotional. Is it? So we've got the trailer big up. We've got some stuff in there at the minute. We're gonna load all these boxes in. So there's a few reasons we're leaving. First of all, Jake got a job. And normally you are a bike rider. So what are you gonna do now? Social media executive for Pro Bike Kit. But it means being based in the UK. So we can't be here basically. We're actually gonna to move to Manchester eventually, which is where Pro Bike Kit is. Uh, so that's on the cards. So a couple of weeks ago, Jake found out he got this job. So we'd kind of planned to come back at the end of February, start of March. But as you know, if you're in the UK, um, there are now new rules about the fact that when you come back after the 15th of February, you have to get two tests. And if you're on the red list, then there's like a really hefty, expensive hotel quarantine to enter. Um, and like all these things with COVID, there's always rumors that, you know, maybe Spain will be put on the red list. So we just thought we're not going to chance it. So hence the turnaround quick, off we go. So yeah, we're packing up all of our life and we're off. Bella's not really sure what's going on. <laughs> boop, boop. <laughs> so that is basically why we're going back to the UK. Jake's got a job and new COVID restrictions. So <laughs> look at these crazy. <laughs> I'm actually going to finish the video here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe to follow along. I'll be bringing more vlogs. I was traveling back to the UK, adapting to minus seven degree temperatures, training, 
what I'm up to for 2021. I've got lots coming, so subscribe so you don't miss out. And that's it. Keep risking it for a biscuit, everyone. Love you. Bye. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha